as he's about to lay down some much welcome jail time, a man named Whitey intervenes. Whitey, we went over this two months ago. It's your last year of repping the youth league basketball. You're turning 70 years old, and our insurance company says they won't cover you anymore. Jesus, guy, do you have any lines not telling somebody else's backstory? Whitey, you're as hard to figure out as the origin of my time. Which, of course, started to be worn in Europe during the Thirty Years' War. What? You don't know what the Thirty Years' War is? Well, I'll start from the beginning. Years ago, the Earth was a molten mass. Whitey, if you want to work with this punk, then God bless you. But, Mr. Stone, what Whitey says goes. So Whitey offers to look after him as a referee in training. The performance of this white-haired little old man is voiced by... I knew this young man years ago when his moral fiber was still intact. Well, gee, it could be anyone. I mean, I don't have a clue. Maybe Sandler heard some angelic voice thespian from the Shakespearean theater and said, he must be one of my leading stars. I've been doing my part for 35 years. Are you ready to join me, big guy? I mean, this is a character who's in, what, 70% of the movie? Thank God they found a voice so charming and so beloved to listen to. Now I'd like to make this work. Teaching up Miss Red Superior. Wow, baby. That 70% of the movie, people, 70% of the movie, you get to hear that voice. Just listen to how not ear-bleedingly bad it is to listen to. <laughs> Enjoy how he is in no way worse than Jar Jar Bing singing Bjork while scratching a blackboard with a screaming baby during a fire alarm in a house of howling mental patients. That's a profound! She had the courage to move back to town! You will not speak about in fact, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions. I'm just going to call Mr. Sandler right now to figure out who did that voice. Hello? Mr. Sandler? Yeah. Nostalgia critic, longtime admirer of your genius. Uh, listen, I just have one question for you. Who was that inspired old man who portrayed Whitey in Eight Crazy Nights? Oh, uh, yeah, actually, I got a little secret for you. It wasn't an old man at all. What? No, actually, it's going to totally blow your mind. It's me. No. Yep, it's me. No. <sighs> Pretty amazing, huh? Mr. Sandler, I think I speak for all the world when I say that we as a species have seen actors become other people. But you, sir, you have taken it to a whole new level. You are like some sort of mutant chameleon that we cannot see you just become other things, other entities. Uh. Thank you so very oh much. Oh my god, and your choice to have him in the majority of this film so that we can hear your beautiful instrument, I just have to say thank you. Thank you from behalf of all the world for letting us be a part of this magic. Oh, it's very kind of you to say. Fuck no blank! Uh, what? The man of a thousand voices, the voice of all the Looney Tunes? Fuck him! He is shit compared to your well, genius! Going a little far no, 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 no! If I can find a way to get his body and put little upside down crosses on it to assure that he is rotting in hell because he even attempted to be the best when he knew that one point you would be born to bring us this whiny voice is an insult and I would do it to him to make sure that he suffers or even tries to do something even better than you! You're going a little. Mr. Sandler, okay. it would be an honor for down. me to dig up the corpse of Mel Blanc uh, so good. that you could take your dick uh, and shove it up his ass oh, because that is how little of a candle he holds to you. Uh, he holds to you and your brilliant variety from eight crazy nights. Uh, it would be an honor. Stop saying that. An honor, sir! Okay, you're scaring me and I gotta go. Thank you, Sandler! So Whitey shows him the robes as referee and also reveals that he's hoping to win the Patch Award, the highest honor the town hands out. But that won't help much as Davey, big shock, is an asshole to everybody.